Teachers frequently go above and beyond to help their students succeed. Recently, one broke out of the role of educator to save her student's life. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty has the story from Sabatis. Out of the blue, I had my little student come up to me and in distress, her hands were around her throat, her face was bright red. Brianne Napolitano is considered a hero. Without really thinking, just instinctively, I was like, okay, I know what I need to do, we're going to do it. I got down, I told her that she was gonna be okay. The Sabatis primary school teacher jumped into action when her first grade student, Helen Gannon, was choking during snack time. I gave her the Heimlich three times and her snack, which was a strawberry, came flying out across the room. And I heard her gasp for air, and I was like, okay, we did it. Everything's all right. She's okay. Her friend went next door and got the teacher for help. So we called the office, and by the time everyone came, she was all right and sitting back at her desk. Helen's mom, Lindsay Gannon, says she got a phone call from the school nurse after the incident. As a parent, it's your worst nightmare, choking. <laughs> and uh, we're just so thankful that Ms. Napolitano uh, reacted quickly and took care of Helen. She saved her life and um, I think it's a testament to how my daughter reacted that she just thought of course Miss Napolitano is going to help me and um, she feels so safe there. Principal Ben Wilson says teachers have to wear many hats especially during this past year and says this is another hat to add. I think educators uh now more than ever have just really shown their love and their passion for their communities and for their families. And uh, Brianna is, uh, you know, a, a case of this. Uh, you know, she shares a lot of love with her kids and it shows every day. And uh, this is just a special moment that she had with that student. And I don't think either one of them will ever forget it. Napolitano says her mom is a nurse and trained her how to react in a situation like this when she was younger and says she is forever grateful she knew what to do. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. Now her mom says Helen was taken to the doctor afterwards, but everything was fine. You'll find more information on our website from the Mayo Clinic about what to do if someone is choking near you.